My favorite baseball player. Does anybody know who it is? Otani? I love him. I think I mean, he's the greatest. Did you see him last night? I didn't see the game. I know that he pitched seven innings, went seven innings last night, right? In the seventh inning, his 99th pitch of the game. Oh, baby. 100 miles per hour. Smoke. What? Smoke last night on me. I saw that. I'm calling Joe Madden. I want him on. I want to talk about this guy. I think he is the greatest. I don't get to sit in the chair that much, so I haven't been able to say this, but come on. I mean, for somebody, I've yeah. lived with the Angels. Six yeah. and 14 World Series run. Remember that, Mikey? We you need know Otani in the studio, in, okay? That's what we need. Remember, I Mikey? I sat in a game with you a couple, yep. come more than a couple times. Those oh, yeah? Days. Watch, yeah, oh, you know, those Fox were the Sports days. Net days. Yep, with Susie. those were the days. That's when I first met Susie. Those were the days. Okay. Six and 14, Mike Sosha, I'd sit him with him every night after a game, and he'd rub his red face, and I'd say, oh, Mike. <laughs> 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 How do you interview a guy night after night when you lose? And then all of a sudden... Scott Spezio, Tim Salmon, Scott Troy Gloss. Oof. I mean, how about those names? Eckstein. Wow. I mean, David Eckstein. David Eckstein. David Eckstein. Yeah. Not Jewish, by the way. Oh, Just thought you might want to know. Yeah, I would. Adam I would Kennedy. That, Tim Salmon. What a bunch of misfits on that oh, team. And, and they went on. That was the Barry Bonds were, Giants. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Yeah, Did you say Erstadt was on that team right Oh, yeah. Darren yeah. Erstadt, yeah. Yeah. Darren Erstadt. Thunder Not sticks. a man of many words. Yeah, the thunder, thunder sticks. sticks, rally monkey, rally monkey, the rally, rally monkey. Best. The yeah. rally monkey was the best. To the you rally guys, monkey. it was yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah exactly. Hey, to the rally monkey. Hey, hey, cheers hey, to the rally hey, monkey. Cheers cheers to rally monkey. monkey. Yeah, exactly. Since so he's not going to do it, I'm going to hook my boy Brock. Yeah, yeah um, take care, Brock. We're a huge Otani. We talk about Otani all the time. Uh, oh, he's so great. What he's doing is amazing. And here's my question for you guys. And maybe TJ, I'll wait till you get back, but uh, you can answer this when you get is back. Is he pouring you a drink right now? What's happening here? Update for the radio audience. Chris is on number two. By the way, I knew Chris when he didn't drink, so this is kind of like. Wow. Back in the day. That was, that was he never pretty, had a second whoa, cup of coffee pre, at home. Pre, pre-baby. I mean. <laughs> the baby will do that I mean, to you. T- Susie, you get it. The <laughs> baby will do uh, it to you. Otani, what he's doing is so incredible. The only comp is Babe Ruth, which is also is just remarkable in itself. But do you think he's AL MVP? Yes. I think he's baseball MVP. MVP yeah, I agree. I think he's baseball. I think he has put a new face on a game that really needed someone to root for in a lot of ways. Yeah. He's an international star. Does it matter to you that they're 10 games back in their own division? Nope. Nope. It doesn't nope. matter. doesn't matter. To you. So winning. Because I tune in to see Otani. Okay. I don't tune in to see the Angels. Sorry. Guys. Love you, Joe. But I tune in to see Otani. No, it's all I good. Think... I'm just wondering how, like, how you think we should go about judging who is the MVP here. Like, what is MVP? Is it most valuable or is it most outstanding? Because if you're talking about who's the most outstanding player, I don't think there's a, any question that it's Shohei Otani. Right. Just like it's probably Fernando Tatis in the in the National League. But when you're talking about most valuable, I mean, <laughs> they're ten games back of their division. They're a game. They're a game over 500. That's who's a great your argument. MVP? Who's your MVP? Right I'm not now? sure. I, I mean, I think if you look at what's going on in Boston, they're not expected to do. And this, this isn't a homer thing either. They weren't expected to do what they're doing right now. They're 23 games over first place, uh, over 500. They have the best record in the American League, and Raphael Devers is in the top five in every offensive category. So how is that not most valuable? Because it's translating to winning games. So if you care about being outstanding and if that's how you measure your MVP, then yes, it's Shohei Otani. But if you're talking about value and value in terms of winning, and people are going to be like, oh, well, if it wasn't for him, they wouldn't even have 50 wins. Otani and Devers have the same war. So they have the exact same war. One guy's team is 23 games over 500, and the other guy is one. So who's your most valuable player? But I think it's player versus team, right? I mean, we're talking about the, what the definition of what the MVP is. Now, you're absolutely right. Red Sox are on a nice run. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations and to you. Uh, thank you. Uh, that said, it's a team. And so you're looking at most valuable player. And I think he defines it. Yeah. I mean, Mike Trout, let's, yeah, it's let's not bring his him fa- back. It's not his fault that Mike Trout has been out for nope. you know basically the whole season. It's not his fault the relievers blow games or the team can't get a run when he's pitching. I, I totally understand all that. But I just want a big, big picture, big picture. I mean, I love what he's doing. I'm free Otani. Like, let's go. I love the guy. 
most valuable player though this year? I mean, I guess when you look back on the year, what are you going to remember? I guess that's kind of a way to look at it too, and you're going to remember yeah. how amazing he was. And Chris, I remember always bring... him just hurling it in the seventh inning. Yeah, he's what? Amazing. And that's always going to bring up the argument, right? Are you the best player or are you the most valuable player? Right. And there, and baseball always seems to have that argument come yeah. down more so than any other sport, like MVP, most valuable or best. Who are you giving it to? And I guess there's no real right answer. Yeah, there's no real right answer. I mean, Mike Trout has won three MVPs, and and on two of those seasons, the Angels won 70 games. I mean, A-Rod won MVP one year, and I think same thing. Texas won like 68 or something that year, but but A-Rod was incredible, so he was the MVP. I I guess I just have a different definition of what's valuable. I think they should just add a most outstanding, kind of what the NFL did. Offensive player of the year, MVP. It can be two different things. No doubt. No doubt. Well, you know, you just are bitter about A-Rod, but that's neither here nor there. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.